Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Finally, uh, I, it's my turn to play Season TI. It's 5 a.m. Uh, midnight for me, it's already morning. But yeah, finally my uh, I'm inside the Season TI, I'm excited to see what kind of rewards, what kind of events we got and also we have some choices to make and I'm excited to share my decisions to you guys, maybe it will be helpful for you too, maybe you will be seeing my mistakes and you will write to my comment section which kind of mi mistakes I made. First of all, as always, um, as always, every single season, I'm going to speak about these compendium rewards. Unfortunately, my past season, I received Conqueror, uh, which is pretty good still. Uh, but there is three options: uh, Anointed, Conqueror, and Enduring, depending on your alliance past success regarding Behemoth. So, which kind of rewards would be great? Uh, as always, here is like legendary tokens, which are most valuable. Uh, in my opinion, and I, as you can see, I chose to get uh, five legendary tokens. But if you have a warpet which you are close to finishing, like for example, uh, Sapphire Fedrake, you want to have a super follow-up three star, you can freely go for it. And in general, uh, after the addition of the warpets and the warpet skills uh, into the season-ending rewards, I think uh, like if you are one skill away uh, from the finishing the warpet in general, you can always go to the like any of these skills. Like most of them are great. Like three star skill can't be bad in my opinion that's why uh, if you are finishing your warped choose whichever warped skill you like and continue playing the game you will be happy about it. if you don't have a warped which you are close to finishing and you don't want any warped skills from here like still in my opinion best choice is to get legendary hero token because that's the most important uh, kind of currency in the game uh, like everybody is trying to get these tokens especially uh, if you are free to play player then 100% you should go for the tokens now that's what I chose and I'm happy about my choice uh, regarding like common section of these rewards um, as always I would suggest to get le legendary ascension emblem it does not cost much 500 uh, uh, Yggdra crystals and after that of course uh, I would buy prestige all and uh, command points at the full if you have enough uh, currency because at the start of the season you want to uh, get experience to your heroes and you will need this uh, basic sepi recovery potions and also your prestige is getting resetted and your policies too so you will need a lot of prestige at the beginning of the uh, like se season that's why this is my order like if i had 500 more of course i would buy this 500 sepi potion but yeah whatever it is i'm pretty happy about my rewards uh, this is like generally, as always, uh, same kind of rewards, like sometimes I add a couple of warped skills. Um, the Another one, which is uh, Artifact Compendium, is much, much better. Uh, Gold Crest is amazing here, like there is a lot of artifacts which are pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and if even if you have them, you would like to have another one in order for you to increase the level. Uh, I think I'm gonna get back to this artifact uh, compendium and I'm gonna spend some uh, collected gems which I have been trying to collect the whole season. Uh, this is a great uh, way of spending gems, uh, it's a season reset because uh, artifacts are not easily gettable for free to play players and here you can see a lot of artifacts which we uh, could never get from the ordinary pools. Other than that, uh, of course, we have uh, for Riches of the Forest, uh, Rattlespear, Mirage Orb, new legendary artifact for mages, uh, Spirit Bone Torque, and Oath of Storm Peak. I'm sorry if my pronunciation is wrong. Uh, from here, well, these four artifacts are great, but other choices are so bad that I would not risk spending money on this, um, spending a gem on this. 
um, like small event, uh, pretty much like Gorata's Ross Ancient Three Roots, uh, Wolf Woman of Halor, uh, Lucius Horn, uh, um, Heart of Kamasi. Like generally, you don't need these uh, artifacts from here, and you need to get a super lucky in order to get your desired artifact, which are like pretty small amount uh, in this space, uh, in my opinion. And also, it costs uh, six uh, thousand. Uh, gems i don't know like if i will have enough uh, gems left um, i like maybe i will try a couple of them let's see like it, it depends on your choices which kind of artifacts you want to have uh, like and which, which kind of artifacts you don't have uh, currently right also the other like most important wheel of destiny we have skolgul goresh bertrand and tohar uh, I, I already have Skolgul. If you don't have any any of them, like feel free. Like in general, season reset is time whenever you need to do your own will. Like whatever you wish, try to do it. But think about the best value. Like think about how you how you you will spend your gems in a best possible way. The other events which are time to act, uh, speed ups nothing more like i'm not sure if you will be able to get here because this place is for pay to win players but still if you have a lot of speed of stay saved up feel free to uh, try to get a, a better rewards which are great 20 legendary hero tokens are amazing but it will be almost impossible to get rank one for a free to play player uh, alienus crisis um, as always some behemoths some uh, heading the call, it's alliance um, event. Like simply, you need to have more members, and that's all. Resurgence, like it says, that uh, first seven days of the new season, you can resurge. Uh, the great revival, like you have some buffs uh, for first week of the every season. Some uh, alliance building speed ups, some alliance uh, recovery speed, and such as right. So let's. Uh, think how George will spend his 22,000 uh, gems. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the um, this compendium because, like for example, I would be happy with Gold Crest. I would be happy with Dragon Scale Armor, uh, Infernal Flame, Shadow Blades, uh, Solan Blade, like lot of artifacts which are here. I would be more than happy to get it. So. Uh, I think I will try to get um, like at least one artifact out of this. Let's see how lucky I will get. This is first one, epic, great. Like I'm in tears whenever I'm spending gems in games. I'm not used to it. Uh, like another epic one, great. Uh, I'm waiting for the golden thing. I ho I hope we will be gonna get it until the ten pool. Uh, we are getting some epic ones which we like honestly don't care. Uh, we are here for legendary one and hopefully until the 10th pool we're gonna get it. Uh, yep, finally, uh, like I have been trying my best to get at least Shadow Blades level 2, even Phoenix Eye will be great. Uh, but I, my main uh, goal here is Gold Crest because I don't have artifact for my Syndrion and Freigar, um, second the Marksman Legion. Um, hopefully, whenever I'm gonna click here, um, I will see a uh, gold crest and uh, even though it's 5 a.m. and uh, everybody is sleeping at my place uh, I, I don't want to wake them up but let's see okay Sorland's blade like I'm not a cavalry player I don't really care about Sorland's blade and that's pretty unlucky uh, like I'm not sure if I could I should continue but yeah I yeah I'm gonna just do it at least until 10. Yep, uh, that was like worst choice for me. Artifact for cavalry uh, unit, um, like, yeah, it is what it is. What can I do? Like, I would be more than happy to get like um, this uh, gold crest, infernal frame, dragon scale armor, shadow blades, Graymers for Warhammer, even Kingslayer, Phoenix Eye, even Spring Raid, Feather. Uh, like we, I had way more choices uh, regarding artifacts which I wanted uh, rather than the artifacts which I got, which is Solan's Blade. I have already one uh, Solan's Blade. I guess I'm gonna upgrade it to level two. But yeah, I'm not cavalry player. I I only use cavalry for the uh, forts because they are just fast to move around uh, in the battlefield. 
but yeah, it is what it is. As a free-to-play player, I can't do anything more uh, from here. Uh, I was thinking of doing like a couple of spins here. Maybe I will get lucky and I get um, Goresh and Tohar. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get Bertrand from the lucky spins. Uh, like generally, that's how it works. Uh, also, like as I know, yeah, like I can spend here. Yeah, let's see how lucky I will be. Let's like I was so unlucky in terms of artifacts. Uh, maybe my luck is here. Let's check. Uh, as always, I'm gonna spin one spins because uh, I'm I'm used to spinning only once with my uh, free-to-play account. Yeah, it's great choice. Some 15-hour speed up, but uh, yeah, everybody like I came here for some. Yeah, it was so close to Bertrand. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do something like this because yeah, it's better. Come on. Like, give me the desired hero, okay? Like, I don't need these resources. Uh, something tells me that this is, like, most unlucky uh, season reset for me. Goresh, great. I wanted Goresh. Like, this is how I got my uh, Syndrion. I have Skolgul. Now I have Goresh. I have nothing to say bad about it. I, I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, I, w I wanted to have Artifact, but yeah, since I get Goresh, I would not say that I'm unlucky. Uh, it's pretty good. Goresh is one of the best, if not the best, um, infantry hero in the game. And in general, I like to collect heroes, even though I'm not playing with them. So I wanted Goresh. That's great. We, all, we have also left two spins. Uh, yep, let's see. Maybe in these two spins we will get... Uh, lucky enough to get another hero. Yep, I like Tohar was so close. Come on, come on. Yeah, like let's see how much gems I have. 4,000 gems. Uh, this is the gems I was trying to collect. Like, yeah, uh, as a free to play player, that's not easy uh, to. Okay, I'm gonna just do this. I don't know how much I can get, but as much as I can. Maybe we're gonna. Maybe our luck was not in the artifacts, and maybe it's here um, in uh, heroes. So let's see. Let let me get one more hero, and please don't be Skolgul. Yeah, that's that was the worst pull. All right, five spins more. Just don't land on Skolgul. I will be really, really. That's like worst <laughs> what is this like yeah okay i'm free to play player come on all right we have only two spins left and i don't have any gems maybe tohar or bertrand uh, like i don't know maybe come on just don't land on skull i don't want to get skull from here bertrand this come on this was yeah it is what it is uh, from the season ending rewards, I got um, Sorland's Blade, which I'm gonna upgrade it with you guys. Uh, yeah, not a best artifact, but if you don't have other cavalry artifacts, legendary ones, and you have Sorland Blade, you have to be happy. And the second reward, which I got um, uh, from this uh, season reset, is Goresh, and I'm super happy about Goresh. I have Skullwool and Goresh, I can't be. Uh, like sorry about it but yeah i wanted to have a gold crest for my syndrion but i have heart of kamasi i guess i'm gonna play with heart of kamasi uh this is my gem spending uh in this game i'm 100 percent free to play player i like generally don't uh spend any money in games because i want to play it naturally i want to see how fun it is by itself um, other than that, we can say that these talents is perfect for me because I want to have fun. Um, I'm not trying to be the best player or the number one uh, merit generator or something like this. My main idea and my main goal is to have as much fun as possible. And since I'm a main uh, marksman player, I have always wanted to, like move speed to have more march speed and some range because medium range sucks, honestly. And finally, long range warfare is here. I will be able to have some fun in this game. Uh, and yeah, 
like i will doing i will be doing more and more videos more guides uh, whenever i'm gonna find out how these thing, things in general work uh, this is why i wanted to take this video at the beginning of the season because i wanted to share my honest reactions from the rewards you saw it regarding artifacts um, you saw it regarding wheel of destiny um, i really hoped for more actually but yes yeah, since i got I, I guess I should be happy. I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, maybe uh, I will have better luck in uh, future events. Yeah, share your luck. I'm interested what you guys got, like free-to-play players. Well, for a pay-to-win player, it's easy. You're gonna get everything. <laughs> but yeah, it's especially interesting what pay what free-to-play players are getting. Uh, this is my rewards. I want to see yours. I hope you are. I hope hope you enjoyed my disappointment and my happiness in a one video. If you like the content, if you like the videos I'm trying to make, uh, press like, share, subscribe. It always gives me more and more motivation to continue doing uh, what I have been done past six months. Uh, so far, enjoy season TI. If you uh, are in, uh, if you are going to get season ti soon i hope you will get it soon because it's a lot of fun uh, those rewards um, and yeah uh, have a good morning have a good night have a good evening um, right now i'm gonna go to sleep because it's five already 6 a.m thanks for watching bye bye see you very very soon